Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how are the units for the slope of a graph determined. Well, that frankly depends on what kind of scenarios that you have to work with, um, depending on the kind of applications that you have. So here are some illustrations as to how you could um, apply uh, the units for the slope. So again, it really depends on what kind of situation that you have. Now, keep in mind that the slope is rise over run. So what that means here is you have a fraction going on, and you could put different units on the numerator and denominator, again, depending on what kind of scenario. So for example, if you're talking about fuel efficiency, you can do miles per gallon, and you could put whatever numbers that would fit that particular fraction. But in this case, their units are miles and gallon, respectively. Now, if you're talking about sales, you could talk about units per month. Or if you're building something, you could think about the amount of dollars per foot or you can put per inch, or depending on what it is that you're building, you can do dollars per cubic foot. So it really depends on what kind of, uh, again, scenarios that you have to work with. Oftentimes they're in application problems, and so the words that they give you really help you determine what kind of units are appropriate. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to determine the units for the slope of a graph determined.